Hornblasters.com. <laughs> this weekend, we are heading over to Mr. Fat B***y Performance. He's having a big truck show slash car show because I'm bringing the GTR. Will just got finished up. He spent all day detailing one, two, three, four, six plus vehicles to get ready for the show. This is our crazy lineup for the second show of the Whew. year. And they're not even all here yet. My grandpa's still coming right now. He stopped over at Doolittle's over in Missouri. He picked up our white 44 foot gooseneck, completely redone. I'm so, so, so excited to show you guys that. And then my grandpa's up. truck as well. He's getting his wheels polished right now by this young fella. Badass little freaking 73. It's a 73. It's got 500,000 miles and it's freaking squatted. Very, very, very. Is it squatted? It needs it bags, is. but it's a work in progress. And Mr. Polisher guy, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Are He's stripping the clear on him. Don't make him Professional. Look. Very, very nice, nice. Best polisher in the state of Tennessee, I've heard. I ain't heard that, but I'll go with it. <laughs> so Brian's getting his truck all washed up and cleaned up. It'll look mwah, minty tonight. Grandpa's rolling up, and then we got literally everything looking flawless right now. That's my friend from Pennsylvania. I forgot he was coming. Oh, I was going to be like, who is that? Yeah, he, he just came by to get some pizza, literally. Oh. I wish I was joking. His name's Lewis. Hey, Lewis. And he's obsessed with Louis Vuitton stuff like me. Oh, God, that's not mm -hmm. a good thing. That's not a good thing. What a rig. Long time no see. And he's... <laughs> <laughs> I just mentioned it's Louis Vuittons. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we just got everything detailed. I'm running through them for the video. All right, so let's start. Blue Devil, 2,000 horsepower GTR. Got it all washed up. The wrap looks amazing. This thing has been dirty. I don't think I've washed this truck Not since once. I bought it. Not one time. And then we threw the 1,200 horsepower motor in it, and it's got a hood stack on it now, so it is just constantly disgusting. Wow, no black stains all over the no hood or the way. windshield. That's pretty good. It looked that pretty mirror, bad. That mirror was black yesterday. Yeah. It was very, very disgusting. So that was good now. We have to soak this in because it doesn't happen too often that yeah. all the vehicles are actually clean got my grandpa's single cab second gen all washed up also haven't had him wash that truck in like six months i'm so sorry grandpa got casper the single cab on 26s got the wheels looking nice got everything looking at look, look at the freaking you can see yourself in the goddamn fender liners big show has minus, never been cleaned minus the wheels because they're getting done mr polisher guy over there is going to polish up the jtx's for us this will be the tow rig tomorrow that's this flash should be hauling the 44 footer you can actually see like the high country logos not covered in freaking bugs or anything anymore and then of course you know frosty the limited f-250 that could be sitting in your driveway very soon got that washed up for like the fourth time this week i keep my giveaway trucks very very clean we have yeah. them all on a cleaning schedule you guys have the opportunity to take home the keys to frosty it's my 2018 ford f-250 limited sitting pretty on a 14 inch elevate coil over lift with leaf springs in the rear 28 by 16 liberty forge wheels wrapped in 38 16 50 fury tires got a beautiful 2020 front end color match headlights and tail lights big ass cowl hood inside it's got a fully loaded limited leather interior with massage seats, iPad dash, 600 piece starlight headliner kit thanks to FCK light bar, custom sub box underneath the rear seats, rock lights, train horns, and so much more. Not only do you get the title and the keys to the truck, but you also get $10,000 in cash to do whatever you want with. All you have to do to get entered is put the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And for a limited time, take advantage of our times four entry multiplier. That means $25 is going to get you 10 entries. You're going to be getting 40. So take advantage of that sale and get entered today. And who knows, on April 20th, I might be giving you a call, turning you come pick up, you're in your truck, and your cash. Well, that's everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, we're actually not even going to drive this truck another foot. We're going to back the trailer all the way to right here. We're going to winch it, not even start it. Winch it up the trailer. <laughs> we pick it up also. And then tomorrow, when we get to Blake's, we're going to unload it with four forklifts. We're going to lift it up, pull the trailer out from underneath it, and put place it exactly where it stands. Hopefully shut down the show. Hopefully not blow up one of these trucks in the burnout contest. Which Maybe. one are you doing? Mm, I was thinking about this all day. We're not bringing murder room because I want to redo that before uh, we blow it up. Cowboy is still out of control mission sadly probably casper it does do pretty good burnout the gtr does have burnout mode oh, no, 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 so no, no, the, no. the gtr could do a burn kevin's just like no he does not want to tear a motor out of no. a gtr yeah no i mean the big blue truck could do a burnout probably it makes 1200 horsepower now or we just do it in brian's truck yeah i don't know about that one <laughs> hello it's an actual spaceship so uh my grandpa went to do little today and picked up my old white trailer that they completely redid for me and i heard it is pretty nasty my grandpa's hard to impress he's very impressed yeah damn Damn. Wait, you don't even got any of the lights on. Hold on. Oh my God, it's so nice. You just flip this little switch right here. Holy shit, that was really lit up. 
Oh my God. When it's dark outside, uh -huh. you can see both lanes where my window's up. Ten Jesus, really? Oh, oh my. And it just keeps going because it's 44 feet. Brand new axles. No more leaking. Brand new dovetail. Oh my God, look at where the, the ramps are. The ramps are tucked away in the back now. Holy sh. <laughs> Blinding, the whole white without the without the bro look at these i i don't i feel bad like touching all this shit honestly oh they're just that new this sick brand new holy we're not gonna lose them too like we did the other <laughs> set. You did say you might want to just get locks yeah uh so no more than the it. pins yeah. yeah you guys ain't taking my freaking uh my ramps here it has a remote it has a remote yeah so if you back up to the trailer uh -huh. it's got a wireless remote so you could if you see your the ball you can sit in your truck lower what the all new wood all new wood on the deck they basically i have a new trailer the, the, wo the wood was perfect no the deck is all brand new holy cow do little i freaking I love you guys so the whole reason why we took it to do little to begin with was because of the axles we broke kevin kevin broke an axle so do little said ship up the trailer we'll get it taken care of it had 12k axles in it before now it has two brand new 15k axles and we noticed them motherfuckers are white they're not even black anymore they're painted or powder coated and they got white wheels too big rig studs oh my god two part epoxy paint two part epoxy paint for the whole thing for the whole thing literally this is the only thing that was uh the same as before they changed the deck wood they changed the neck the whole front of the trailer actually the ramp and the whole ramp design axles everything six 16 inches taller. I beat Zach Penick. I have the tallest neck ever. Big box for all the hydraulic shit. Is that the remote you're talking about? My favorite part of this whole trailer is this. <laughs> It has my freaking logos in it now. So they literally cut all of that off and all of this, the so neck and everything is all brand new. Brand new stickers, brand new everything. Brand new spare, brand new box, brand new freaking paint. The paint looks nicer than most of y'all's truck. Now we have hydraulic freaking legs what everyone please for the love of god do not buy any trailer other than from doolittle doolittle is the uh definitely the best trailer brand they are very very nice they treated me and my grandpa very well they gave you a whole freaking uh tour of the station a whole tour yeah, yeah. really nice place really, really nice place yeah real professional i'm excited to meet them because that's how much they had to lower it so. oh my god so when, when you hook up <laughs> it, we'll slide that back up yeah so this uh, this trailer is actually built just to be hauled with big show it's uh set up for a truck where the ball sits at 55 inches obviously my grandpa's truck is isn't ginormous so we had to uh what's that called uh, a sleeve new sleeve custom sleeve right. just for you and right. then uh and he's gonna he's giving you another sleeve too, we so. have two sleeves to be hauled with a normal truck and with big show so we can literally haul anything anywhere they told us to literally beat the crap out of this trailer and see what breaks so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna see if this trailer is gate proof it might not be kevin proof All that stuff, i break trailers you break cars <laughs> the whole neck goes into there it comes back to about here it's welded in that far so you can almost see it i don't think camera does it justice how massive this whole setup is right now. And the one of the funny thing is, this is only one of my trailers. I have two being built that are identical. The white one's finished, obviously. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna go back to Doolittle, me and you, and we're gonna yeah. pick up my black Doolittle trailer. Right, to match. Now we just gotta get lights and paint. 80 rock lights, 80 to 100 rock lights we put on so that it's lit up like this one is. All right, so we've had a very, very eventful night. We got to the show at like six, seven o'clock, something like that. Didn't record unloading because we were swarmed by people, probably 17 minutes. The entire show was around us whenever we were unloading everything. Like I could barely breathe. All the trucks unloaded. The tow rigs are all chilling at the show. We drove the Chevy, of course, Frosty and the GTR all the way to the hotel. Tomorrow we're going to unhook the trailers, go put them all in the booth, watch like the craziest show ever. There's so many guys people here the crowd is ridiculous and it was literally like 10 o'clock at night oh yeah you know. your mega cab is at home because yeah. your drive shaft exploded in nashville at three in the morning last night yeah that was pretty fun getting it wasn't it oh that was not fun yeah he calls me at like three in the morning he's like hey my drive shaft uh, obliterated itself and i said i'm sleeping yeah so the mega cab did not make it but we got a pretty decent fleet we brought like i think we brought seven seven trucks or no six trucks in the car so the booth will be pretty packed tomorrow everyone's coming they're gonna be a huge burnout contest uh show and shine's massive there's so many trucks there and Everybody's not even here yet, so I'm pretty excited to see what tomorrow I'll bring. But for now, we want to sleep.
Good morning. It's like 10 o'clock. Uh, we're kind of late, but Kevin and my grandpa have been at the show all morning, get everything ready for us. We're pulling up the GTR. I've heard that the show's been packed since like 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. Yeah, we're like a mile away from the shop right now. Alright, thank you. And just like that, Katie buys the Doolittle. Yeah. Holler at me. <laughs> I'd iron hunt the everything. No sensor? No, we could just rip that one off. Well, I don't want the brakes lock up. <laughs> so we have Bryce here, literally strapped to a f any level. And he's going to do a four wheel drive burnout. Like last year, but I'm assuming way more rowdy because it's actually running really good and it makes a lot of good power now. Either the chain's gonna break and he's gonna go flying through the trees and probably murder Reaper Media, or he's gonna blow off the tires and probably annihilate a bedside again. Side note, that any level is tits. Really nice truck. If it's not absolutely trashed when he's done, might have to buy that truck. You gotta teach this guy what to do again, bro. I can't teach Bryce. Bryce taught me how to do burnout. Well, considering he doesn't like test and tune anything, he kind of just like throws everything together and like shows up. He did a burnout on the trailer on the way here. He did do a burnout on the trailer on the way here. That was his test. That was just a test. Fucking see anything. Come on. <laughs> There's still tire left. Why do you stop? Feel a little spicy. I think you do another one, honestly. The propane's supposed to cool it off. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, really. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, there's like 17 He's people standing. I'm overstimulated. He's overstimulated. <laughs> You're supposed to hit overdrive. Bryce, he just on you. Not even gonna lie. You're all just lying. Not even gonna lie. I think you're right, Gabe. Yeah, I, I think you gotta do it again. Fuck. <laughs> I agree, let's do it again. Tell him to do it again. Yeah. Why do you have your own minions? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, that was, that was too easy. Oh, fuck. Really? Aha. Uh -huh. Now that's friendship. When you can stand underneath a truck, hope that they're not gonna run you over. Drive shaft is out. So you're good to go. No, there's Chuck coming on. I'm not blowing out a bed side. No, I'll pay for the bed. No. I will. No. I have one. No. Literally right there. Good bed? Yes. Brand fucking new. Is it fine? It's is literally it perfect. No. What color is it? Black. Ah. Holy. It's fucking super doors. I've never seen him do a burnout. This is kind of insane. Uh, can we talk about the fact that he literally blew up his truck last week racing me? Uh, was it with in you? Texas. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that was yeah, with so you. Yeah, so I raced him on the highway right after that. He blew his turbo, and then I raced a Hellcat right after I raced him, and then I blew my radiator. Texas is just bad juju. You know, we out here, this year performance, no, it's just getting lit.
I got a package, a very, very big makes cool noises package. Hello, Amazon Prime. What the hell is this big mamma jamma? With bead locks and tire shines and a whole bunch of blue. Or is that purple? I'm colorblind. So which one am I taking? Am I taking this one or this one? Which, which? Both? I actually don't know how this thing is still alive. So as you guys know, I crashed my Lambo. So I need a new vehicle to go get the mail in the morning. This is my new go to the bottom of the driveway and get my mail vehicle. Thanks to Bryce. He also bought my picnic table. So at some point, whenever, you know, he like gets off work, he can uh, he can come get my picnic table. Hey, you, wait, how far is your house? Uh, From here, hours. What? Yeah. Come on, slide to the crib. I got a couple extra bedrooms and air mattresses. Take a nap, take a shower. I think I got sold a lemon. I've never done this before. <laughs> hey, you have gas? Do I have gas? Yeah. Can't say I do. Is it really out of gas? I don't think we have. Well, we were out of gas in the car wash and then we loaded up. Oh. All right, so they're going to go get fuel, and now I talked them into coming to my house and delivering the side by side for me. So I load everything up and get the hell out of here. Grandpa Farrell Productions pulling his trailer, and Big Show pulling my one of two do little trailers. I just got word that my black one that matches that one is getting painted tomorrow as we speak. So we should have that in like two or three weeks, hopefully. Summary of the show, uh, I actually didn't get too, too much footage. I spent most of my day sitting in the limited editing. We basically, I would describe this show as putting five pounds of sh in a two pound bucket because there was so many goddamn people here it wasn't even funny you couldn't even walk anywhere without having to no, sign hats this, this is just a little <laughs> of everything you've been cleaning since 4 a.m yeah this, like one minute I'm, I'm signing autographs next minute i'm out here doing this it's just you never know you know show was awesome definitely needs uh i hope blake made enough to buy all of this land so then we can have more parking for next year because i imagine next year is even going to be bigger pretty cool show a lot of people showed up a lot of burnouts a lot of fun things kind of over shows my grandpa's over shows we're all over shows people just don't understand that i'm not a dog and i can't just like if you want videos i have to like work the whole time it, it doesn't really click in people's heads so it's kind of hard to uh do my job when i'm signing autographs can you give me a picture gabe no me and you oh, can we get fuck. a picture can you sign my two we're gonna load everything up and then uh, get back to my house unload my side by side get to editing more videos because i have like five right now <laughs> Hello! We, uh, we made it. We totally didn't have to stop 47 times because Big Show, the Chevy, decided to blow two rear airbags, but we don't talk about that. That would be my side-by-side. -side. Bryce made it here first because he literally is a race car driver. F*** you. Goodbye. Hello, new picnic table. That is not a picnic table. It's a side-by-side. -side. It has only one seat because I have no friends. It has a whole bunch of powder and paint and uh, it has paddle shifters, kind of like my Lamborghini. Like I said, this replaces my Lambo. So, of course, I had to get one with paddle shifters. And uh, it has a turbo and hopefully now it has gas in it. So we get started. No, I don't think so. Man, it's just a pile. Uh, Kevin, what is your expert opinion? Besides that, don't buy anything from Bryce because it's all piles of garbage. You see that man? He's a Bryce's fucking scammer. <laughs> Pretty bad. He beats on things a little worse than almost you. Oh, wow. Well, got tacos, went inside, and now Kevin got the side by side running. Actually, I didn't do anything. We saw that uh, Vance actually and grabbed some spark plugs for it, and now should be ready to go. This thing sounds better than your GTR. It sounds better than my GTR? Where, where, are, you, where are you going? <laughs> But then you also flip because they're not as wide and not as slick. Yeah, that was think that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I like these. Hey Kevin, can you check the lug nuts and make sure these are all tight? They're tight. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
Oh my god, there she goes! Is it too late to say I take it back? No, but it's about to run into Bryce's truck, so you might want to film that. <laughs> he's saying keep going, so I'm assuming he's good. What a beautiful night.